Good evening, everyone. Um, title of my topic, uh, title of my presentation is Embracing Equity, Closing the Gender Disparity in Education Through Communication. I work in uh, international development organization, which is based in London, called Keep the We are a global network of individuals and local partners in the who share the same values and aspire to create positive change. And Feed the Minds run practical education projects supporting adults living in poverty to have a new start. We have been working in education sector for the past 50 years. Now focus and emphasis on women, especially because two thirds of the world adult population who have no need to skills are women. And also one in three women have experienced violence in their lifetime. There is a big gender disparity in the world, and it is not possible to just only one organization or any individual working towards them. As this is the CEO of our organization, Sandra Golden, it says that only by working together, state by state, that we can help close gender disparity in education. And we have been working with various organizations and individuals in various countries. We focus on three thematic areas mainly on citizenship, economic empowerment, and health education. In terms of the citizenship, we have been working towards improving women and people's knowledge of and access to their political, civic, and the human rights. And in terms of economic empowerment, we have been working towards improving the financial security and resilience of women and people who have been marginalized. And in terms of health education, we are working towards improving women and people's knowledge of and access to the self health care. And our projects are run in partnership with various organizations in different countries. So these are some of the examples of our projects in different countries in Madagascar, Kenya, Uganda, Sudan, South Sudan, in Northwest, in Cameroon, and in Pakistan. We work in various sectors like in biodiversity and livelihoods for women, women support in women in Kenya, menstrual health and social enterprises in Uganda, food security in South Sudan, similarly in agroforestry in Cameroon, and improving the digital skill in Pakistan. And other projects are we also work, we have been working towards ending female genital mutilation in Nigeria, improving livelihood skills in Zambia. We're working in vocational training for women in India. And also, sustainable farming in Sierra Leone, Leon, and food security in Tanzania. These are some of the examples of our projects we have been working with. Communication is, I work as a communication manager, and communication is very important in our project, working towards ending the gender disparity in education, working in various countries. And this is the communication processes in our organization. We work in print communication. Press and media, similarly, we run various events, and we are also active on digital and social media. We have we are on social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and LinkedIn. This is me. <laughs> so I have to say uh, communication plays a vital role in empowering women and gearing them towards investment equity for our literacy program. Yeah. So this was developed by the International Women's School where we we also joined international women's international women's organization community and we've been sharing their uh, resources to develop this and i would like to now give some examples of how communication has changed uh, women's life and in the society in different countries for example this is the radio program we have been running in nigeria so this is for ending the female genital mutilation and bringing the change behavior and social change in nigeria radio program has been used to for the sensitize the energy state in residents in Nigeria about the dangers of FGM by our project partner, SERP. There is another example. This is another example. The radio broadcast by the, our project partner in Nigeria has been successful in raising awareness of female gender mutilation, debunking various myths and misconceptions that surround the fact that you see here in the picture that the men and women are together. Discussing female genital mutilation openly, effectively breaking the gender gender barrier in discussion of it already a couple of years back. They didn't used to be together discussion on this topic. Another example similarly in the Uganda. 
Uh, giving this example, this is an example of the local partner organization in South Sudan, how the communication uh, have been implemented with the communication in this project and having the VSL receiving a loan association and the community, how, how the women are being empowered. This is the story, it's a very short story. I'm going to tell you. This is a three year old mother of seven who was struggling to feed their family of seven. And with the without the support uh, of VSLA and with the financial support, you just into communication empowerment and it has been empowered. Now you see, like, she's running two restaurants and the restaurant runs in seven days. She earns 77 pounds per day, whereas on average, the government office in South Sudan on 38 pounds per month. So that's a big, massive change, like how entrepreneurship is happening with her, like bringing change in her society, in her family. And she says, like, I'm an example of all that we can talk from. I'm an employer of eight workers who can sit with men to discuss issues. Our, our international Ministry of Appeals is ready. If you'd like to help support to, to I mean, like, to, to women like Kajia, Chance to achieve her dreams, um, you can go to our website. Thank you so much. Sorry about the little bit longer. I was going to buy me.